Howdy, viewers, Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, winding down Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. I've moved into the epilogue, and I'm not going to do all the missions in the epilogue. Uh, just a few to highlight certain things, but there is some things I would like to point out. There's a cabin in, uh, what is it, Southfield Flats, and I'll show you on the map. That kind of has a mystery to it. And, well, it's important in the fact that if you're trying to build the alligator tooth trinket, you got the Civil War handcuffs, you got the alligator tooth, but you need a gold link bracelet. Well, this house, you can pick it up without having to worry about stealing it or harming someone in order to get it. So let's get on with this cabin in Southfield Flats. The cabin is in Southfield Flats near Maddock Pond and where you would go hunting for the legendary fox. It's just north of Rhodes and I'm going to zoom out and like I said it's just north and kind of northwest of Rhodes. Now, before you enter the cabin, you want to do a hard save because it's random what type of gold jewelry is going to be generated. But here you can find a gold jointed bracelet. You just have to reload and exploit the save. When you approach this cabin, no one greets you. And I flip the first person view here, and as you can see, there's some blood here, and then blood on the stairs. And if you follow up the stairs, you see this blood trail, and a lot of blood here. And once you open the cabin, ugh, grisly murder scene. What the hell? That little girl standing is kind of creepy. It's actually a teenage girl, maybe preteen. That is a man. They were obviously attacked and murdered. Very grisly scene to come upon. But what you want to do is when you start searching the cabin, come over here and you'll see this jewelry box. And you take it. Now, again, I got the gold jointed bracelet, but I had to reload multiple times. You do get a gold form of jewelry. Then over here on the mantle is a cigarette card. If you're still collecting cigarette cards, there's this one. Uh, you can just buy a bunch of uh, premium cigarettes and get cards. But you can go around the cabin. Oh, my alert, autosave. Yeah, I already had it, so I'll just hit yes. Now I've got the cigarette card. And then you search the cabin. There's food and other things available for you. These people are dead, so they won't need it. I'll let uh, John go through and take what he can in the cabin.
after you looted the cabin, you come out here, and if you follow the blood trail, on the map there's an indication of a weapon in the back. You come around to the back here, and you see a woman lying dead against a wheel, a uh, meat cleaver, which she obviously used, and then a gun to kill herself. This was either a woman who went crazy or a young girl, young daughter. Um, I don't need the revolver, but yeah, this is kind of grisly. I think maybe it was the daughter that killed her mother and father, or maybe the a woman killed her husband and daughter. I don't know. But this cabin, like I said, if you come to it, save, then enter it, you will at least be able to reload until you get the gold jointed bracelet. If you like this video and found it informative, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. I try and answer all comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and then bell icon and you will be informed when I post videos. I post four videos a week involving video games and if you don't want to miss out, again, subscribe. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by. Thank you.